Hey guys, Michael with the GM's Library here, and uh, I wanted to do a um, another map video. Uh, this one is coming from an, an interesting idea. So the concept is, is, is pretty simple and probably overdone, but everybody needs a wizard's tower. So I wanted to do a three-level wizard tower. Um, it's a lovely circular shape. Um, about 60 feet in diameter. Um, yeah, so that's about, you know, the 12 5 foot squares by 12 5 foot squares, blah, 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 blah. So, um, I've been thinking, what does this wizard tower need? What are, what are the basics, the essentials? So, on the first floor up here, I'm thinking a bedroom, a library, and a kitchen slash dining room. I haven't entirely mapped it out. Uh, up here yet, so I, I don't know how crowded it's going to be, especially with the stairs, but we'll give it a shot. The second floor I'm thinking is going to be split between a teleportation and a summoning room. We're going to need some nice runes and things like that. And on the top floor, an alchemy slash astronomy lab and a spell testing room. I did a lot of Reddit research and a lot of just Googling on what a, a wizard's tower needs. Um, before I start throwing stuff around, I just wanted to share my, my big idea. Um, thinking of throwing a, a quest or an encounter at, at one of my parties, that there is this evil wizard just, you know, going out. He's collecting these magical artifacts and he is uh, consuming the magic within them to, to get stronger. Um, what I really want to do is Every time he consumes a magical item, it really just increases his damage output for his spells or the spell's efficiency. So, oh my gosh, when they when the party goes against this wizard, he's going to cast a firebolt. It's going to do like 10d10 damage. I'm not really. I don't want to, you know, actually kill anyone, but something like that, something along those something along those lines. So this first floor, I want the bedroom, a library and a kitchen and dining room. So let's just zoom in nice and deep over here. Um, so we're going to assume the bottom area is gonna be the door. So we are going to find the door. I got windows, I'm probably overlooking it. Doorways, beamless. We might just go with the wooden doorways here. That seems like the best option. So if you've seen any other, this would be useful. If you've seen any of my other videos, it's just me scanning through these, these um, images and just picking out the best ones. But let's just go with those original doors up here. Um, this one will do. Yeah, I like this one. This one's nice and thick. Um, so we are going to keep it nice and small. About 10 feet, that'll probably be all right. Um, undo the random stamps and just put a couple doors down. I'll fix these a little bit later. All right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 60. Okay, it's a little, it's a little off balance. I can see that, but. All right, I'm gonna leave it as is, so this will be our hallway here. You know what, maybe we should actually include those walls. Would they be wood or would they be stone? Oh, that's a tough question. Probably stone. Maybe we'll map it out first. We're gonna need a, uh, a nice big bed, but that's a little too big. I think it should be more than like 10 feet. That'll probably be good. So you walk in through here. Um, another big obstacle is going to be these stairs. Let's do the stone stairs. Oh! Oh, I like this. Okay, okay. To be honest, I didn't even know that they had spiral stairs. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna just flip this for fun here. Okay. I don't want them to be this big, obviously, so um, this might not be the best stamp. Maybe we'll try this half one here. And we could always just rotate it inward. So, okay, I'm thinking it'll be about 10 feet in width. thought that that would be so much better. I think it's pretty much identical. Yep, that's just embarrassing. All right. So in that case, we're going to delete these and just do the uh, this original idea here. And we'll line it up right there. And uh, yes, so if this is going to be the stairs, then maybe back here will be the bedroom. Be, that would be the best. All right, now I'm thinking I'm going to frame it out with some stone walls if I can find them. The spiral staircase might not be too bad either. The spiral staircase right in the middle. Oh, that could be interesting. Clearly, I did not do that much thinking, and the more I go through these, um, the more I think I would love to do these other ideas. So this is going to be a lot of experimenting. Um, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it comes out. And if it's total garbage, you can just let me know in the comments. Um, all right. Let's try, and, let's try and put this dead in the middle. It's about in the middle. Um, all right, right about there. Okay, so that means the um, actual steps are maybe like six or seven feet, and that's okay. Um, however, the entrance to the staircase is going to go on this right side here. Okay, so let's go back to these walls here. Sometimes I have to double up, otherwise they just look too wide. I'm going to let that sit right there. I should be able to do right in the middle of the line here. Okay, so as you can see, it is a little off. But I'll bring that in. I'm going to um, bring that to the top. Okay, so we've got our walls. Um, since we want it to be a bedroom, a kitchen, dining room, and a library, um, we are going to. Hmm. I'm trying to think, open concept, <laughs> but is that what the wizard would want? All right, one of these walls is going to have to move. But I think this will be a good idea. So we're going to block this wall off a little bit here. So you kind of come in, and this is probably where the sitting area will be. Um, We'll have the bedroom over on this side here. Kitchen dining over here. Okay, that might be good. So, 
Let's throw some kitchen and dining. Okay, he's a monster. He's gonna obviously have some some food baskets and and some breads. All right, stack a couple of crates in the area as well. All right, maybe we'll add more in a little bit, but. Now, would he have fancy furniture? He's a wizard, probably. The alternative is some simple stuff here. Uh, the tavern look. But you know what? Let's go with the fancy table. All right, that's about five by five. Let's make it a little bit larger. All right, we got the fancy table. That's a table, desk, 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 a rocking chair. We need chairs for, ah, if I'm being honest, I don't like the fancy chairs, so I'm going to scroll up a little bit and just do some regular chairs. Is it terrible that I'm not matching the styles? Maybe. Maybe. He's pretty independent, so he might not even need a table this large. But we'll throw in four chairs just because that's kind of my go to. And sometimes it's good to not have them set up perfectly so that it looks like they're used a little bit more often. He would definitely have a tablecloth. That is a fact, I know it. This, this wizard might be evil, but he's not a monster. He's a classy gentleman. Um, let's throw a couple candles. I want three candles. I thought I was doing the right thing there, but I was not. So we've got three candles. These are the small details that nobody will really notice, but that's okay. Uh, and then we want one single plate. Let's go with a nice white one. Um, this is another one of those features where it's, um, I want one single plate. That way, if someone actually pays attention to this, they're gonna see uh, that he's most likely alone throw a sausage on there. I know it's totally random, but a sausage and, and uh, oh, there were foods here somewhere. Yes. A sausage and uh, hell. And this looks like an eggplant. We'll throw an eggplant on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's good for now. So we've got the kitchen, we've got a dining area, uh, and then this will be a good spot for the library. Um, so we're gonna need those fancy bookshelves. Uh, that's a broken bookshelf. We don't want broken, we want it to be intact. Bookshelves, here we go. Here's what we'll do. We're gonna slightly tilt it and slightly tilt it. I know I could just flip it, but, and I know that does not look good. Um, however, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. All right, let's go back over here to the fancy chairs. All right.
he's got this whole setup. It's uh, very fancy, and it seems like he's he's not alone. Um, with that in mind, it could always look like he um, he has visitors, maybe an ally. Who knows? All right, a nice melted candle to to make it look like he's actually been out here reading. good that looks good he's, he's been doing a lot of interesting reading lately all right so far this does not look too bad um, looks a little a little mixed and, and, and jumbled maybe we'll push the library down a little bit just just bring this a little bit a little bit closer to the uh, that entryway. So the first thing you guys see when you walk in is this lovely library. All right, and we'll bring that in a little bit more. The library does need a little bit more. We'll have to, we could frame it off, but that might actually also be a bad idea. Maybe we'll just do a, a nice line of, um, you know what, I've got a couple more ideas, let's see. We're gonna put some more bookshelves here. Ah, oh, you know what, actually this could be a good time for for this one. I know I made this, this castle circular and that kind of, kind of affects the, the shapes that we get here, but maybe I can make it work. Okay, let's leave this for now. For now it'll be okay. So we've got the kitchen, the dining, the bedroom, the library. The library's a, a little weak if we're being honest, but it flows pretty nicely. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the kitchen that really brings this room together. Um, I do have a lot of plans for the upstairs. That's what I'm, I'm really excited for. But we'll go through some of the other options here. We'll just make sure we're not missing anything wild. Traps, never a bad idea. Temple items. I do kind of love these elven rugs. Let's like throw one in there just, just to just to beautify the entryway a little bit. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's the little things, you know. Alright, so adding these things, it, it really reminds me of how uncentered this is, so let's just fix that. All right, again, doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be functional. So, we could add a secret door in here so that he has a way out. It seems like it's a twisty, turny uh, space, but there could be a secret, a secret way out. We'll think about it, we'll think about it. But for now, let's head over to the second floor. Now, the second floor is where it starts to get a little interesting. Here. I want to divide this into a teleportation slash summoning area. So we're going to take this so it's the same exact size. I'm going to slap that right in the middle and we'll even put one over here just to have it ready. Okay. All right, so it looks like it is just about in the middle. 
So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, that's about as, as perfect as I can make it. So, um, I like to think that you go up this way into the shadowy area. I think it's supposed to be a descending staircase, but in this case, you go up on the left side and kind of move up it clockwise. So, as you come up here, this is going to be the hallway, uh, the hallway that leads into the left room and the right room. So, let me grab this wall right over here and slap it. We're going to need maybe three of these. All right, right in the middle. Nice. I just realized I should not have added these doors. There's not going to be a door on this level. What was I thinking? All right. And this we're going to control copy. And then we're going to flip it hard. Ooh. I don't know why I thought that that would work so well. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not on my A game today. Okay, this is another one that does not look like it's centered very well, but I think it's going to have to do. All right, that looks a little bit better. Um, so as you come up, let's bring that back over here and here. All right, as you come up the steps, you're, you're into this triangular shaped room. doors are going to be a lot smaller than the entry doors, probably more like that. I mean, five feet's just a little big, but... And I put two, so that people know that there's a... Uh, Okay, so you come into this space, we're going to add another sitting area here, um, and we're going to have a teleportation and a summoning room. So, uh, I'm going to obviously post this, this map up on my website, so you do not have to make it your teleportation and summoning room. I'll have some magical items that you can finagle your own way, your own little story, whatever whatever your campaign needs. All right, gloves and dial. Oh, I do have ideas. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So let's take a fancy desk. This is going to be the teleportation room. So we're going to take this fancy desk. It doesn't need to be more than 10 feet. So this will work. And it's going to go right against Hmm. Would he have it against the outer wall or the inner wall? I'm going to say personally, I would love it against this inner wall here, so I'm going to put it right there. I do wish it framed a little bit better, but... All right. So there, he is going to need a map. Oh, I'm getting excited just, just thinking about this. All right. So, teleportation. Obviously, he's going to need a map to know where he's going. Wouldn't it hurt to make this nice and big. All right. Um, a globe. I'm looking for that globe again. All right, we've got a globe there. Sundial. All right, we'll put the globe right... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like nice and, nice and big. I'm probably going to have to tweak that. 
Um, that's a fancy sundial. Let's do the hui. All right, in my head, it's it's kind of okay. Yeah, I, I know this probably would not make sense to actually have it on the desk because it's not benefiting from any sun. I'm I'm I'm, hit, I'm thinking that now. So maybe no no sundial. Um, maybe no potions. We're gonna need some of these. I know, I know, I know. Maybe some bookshelves. Um, let's put a quill here. Um, okay. All right. So. For teleportation, I'm gonna make it a nice, a nice green and blue. I just think of of Earth, Earth's colors with the um, land and ocean. So green and blue kind of just makes sense to me. And thus, the stamp for the actual teleportation circle is going to be... I'm so sorry for the noise outside. A, uh, a motorcycle is <laughs> driving by. All right. I like this one as a teleportation uh, option. All right, nice and big. Should it go in the corner here? Where there's space, he's kind of standing over here. Maybe his bookshelves are. Uh... All right. So he's got. Um... He's got bookshelves. You know, I can hear this this motorcycle outside just revving his engine, and uh... and there's nothing I can do about it. So, this wizard, ha this wizard has his, his teleportation lab. He comes in through these doors on the bottom. Here he's got a globe, he's got a map, he's got sources of power, a quill. He can, you know, do any writing he plans on doing. Um, the only thing we need now is a chair and a small table. So imagine, oops, imagine after uh, after hours of trying to get this teleportation spell right, he is, uh, he feels defeated. He's, he's going to just drop onto the, onto this chair. Make it look like he's really doing some studying. Okay, I love it. I love it. He plans the rituals in this in this large open corner space. He does have a sitting area where he can do his studying that he needs. The chair is movable, obviously. The other side is probably can be very similar, um, if not identical. Um, I wonder how much of that I can just copy and paste. Or only some things that we would need to uh, I keep doing this I keep flipping it thinking that uh, oh goodness this is a nightmare okay you know what we're gonna have to do it by hand all right but I guess it works out because um, we can change the layout, and we need more space for the for the summoning. Whatever he's whatever he's planning on summoning, it's probably going to be evil. So let's go with a nice red one. That's going to be right in the center of the room. A little bit bigger. He's going to have to walk through it to to get into his his workspace. I love that he seems to have a, uh, a little desk space everywhere he goes. All right, gold, gold and red. He's 
probably out here summoning demons. Um, so he does not need the same um, globe and such, but an hourglass could be a could be a nice little tool. Obviously, obviously we're gonna have scrolls. move the hourglass over to the corner of the table we've got our scroll and I do want to throw in a nice uh, a nice stack of a couple more scrolls here uh, need the quill ooh we need a candle too to include another bookshelf. Can we do one of these here? Why the hell not? All right. All right, we don't want it too big. We don't want it kind of butting into the, uh, the summoning circle. But I do like how it kind of frames out the, the actual office space of it. And then I'm also gonna wanna include some skulls. No, 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 there's, I know somewhere in here there are like altar-like symbols. We'll throw this down as a, as a temporary placeholder, but I know that there's better options. Some statues, okay, some potential statues. They might be at the bottom. I, I, I know that there are. I know what I'm looking for. I just need to find it. Okay, I might have to go with just the regular statues here. Um, some, some evil things. No gravestones, but nice skull statue could be okay. I'm gonna throw it in here for for now. I'm gonna keep that demon skull entrance thing in here. Uh, maybe a skull as well. When you're summoning you probably need a little offering altar as well. So let's let's go with a stone slab here. Stone wall, dwarven table. Oh, I'm just looking for a nice, a nice stone slab. Graveyard, pillar, shrine tiles, tomb. Looking for a stone slab. Maybe an altar, actually. Let's throw any of these in here. Okay, all right, we, we're gonna start moving stuff around. This guy's got a lot going on in his workspace. All right, so he's got this altar here. That's okay, we can move that up a little bit because we are actually gonna throw this right over it. This, this must indicate that he's that he's an evil guy. Let's bring that to the top. All right, gonna put it right there. Okay, so it definitely looks like that is on top. This will be some nice, uh, some nice wall art. I'm gonna put it kind of halfway on so people know it's. on the wall and we'll put a lovely skull statue right in the corner all 
I'd like to put a little bit more on this altar as, as though he's offering something. So um, in a sick, twisted way, we're going to go with some meat. Um, a hunk of meat sounds good, but I know there's also steak. Oh, yeah. All right. So you're summoning a demon. We're going to put some meat on there. Uh, there is blood that we'll also put. Um, I like the idea of him kind of putting a, a healing potion on there so it, you know, it's like you're giving life to whatever you're summoning. And the blood's all the way on the bottom. Make sure the meat is above the blood. Meat and the potion. Potion wouldn't be, you know. Okay. All right, that's good. So this looks a little busy, but that's okay. Oh, this chair should be equal in size to that other one. Another car driving by. My uh, my recording space is pretty pretty simple. Nothing nothing fancy at all. Actually, it's kind of just me and my room. Um, I have to make it work, unfortunately. And one more thing, um, a matching Elvin, a matching Elvin uh, rug. I think we used blue before. Nice. Okay. I'm going to just do a quick save. Because we've been doing a lot of work, and uh, if my computer shut down, it would really suck if I lost all this. Okay. So, this is very busy, but we have a teleportation and a summoning. Uh, I might actually mark this teleportation and summoning. If any of you want to change that when you use this map, uh, you can cross it out, or I'll leave it blank. I'm not quite sure yet. And I, I always come back to this, I'm like, I hate the idea of him having the bed on the first floor, but it is what it is. All right, I'm pretty much just going, there just has to be 20 feet in every direction. That's, that's how the size is coming out. So up here, we're gonna have an alchemy lab, astronomy, and a spell testing space. Um, I'm not gonna include any walls here. I think it's gonna be one big open space. Um, so we're gonna mark it. Uh, I know that there was the, um, this little wizard section had a lot of things. Okay. So the astronomy area. Here, we can include the sundial, but I want this one here. This one's. Astronomy, a sundial. If we assume that the, that it's open, um, there's probably uh, most definitely sun actually coming through. Hourglass is going to be big with the alchemy. Um, oh, that's a nice summoning circle. We already made our decision, but all right. So we can write down ingredients. We are going to need that after we get the desk. We got some potions here. All right, let's just get the workspaces going. Um, Right, we need our fancy desks. All right. Um, okay, okay, I'm gonna move this over here. And this one over here. I'm gonna leave that back, the northern space as a uh, 
more room for his spell testing. Hourglass right behind him. I'm gonna put this. I'll put this right here. I want, I want the maximum exposure I can get. All right. All right. We got a lot of lovely potion bottles here. I love these. All right. Yeah, let's do some random ones here. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is actually not going to do what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have a longer table in the back where he has... Um, his potion bottles uh, on not display but for easy access uh, if there was a potion rack I would do that um, I'm gonna try and makeshift one the best I can so maybe we'll do a desk like this but I also know there's just a long table that would be ideal bar table is not bad it's nice and long long bench we'll do a, a bar table Shift some shelves. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller as I put it up there. It does not look perfect, but I think it just, it's just because it's not um, rotated enough. That looks a little bit better, actually. All right, so now this is where I'm going to put the, uh, all right, so the potion's going to come all the way to the top. So here we're going to have uh, his, his little potion collection here. Nice. Okay. So he's got his, he got his, his, his potions on display. Um, all right. All right. He's going to need a source of water. There's a bucket with water in it. Nope. Okay. It does need a source of water, though. Oh, nice. All right, let's just zoom in on this space. This is going to be good. All right, water. Um... He's gonna, he's gonna stack up a couple barrels nearby. We gotta assume that these are just full of his ingredients. Got some some recipes. Oh my gosh, I I love, I love how this is coming out. Um, 
Pillows might be might be practical actually. I'm gonna put a, a green a green ball on now. No, we don't need it. It's not magical. This is this is alchemy. We don't need that. Alright. Right. Ink and quill. That looks good. Alright, that might be okay for now. I do want to add some, some crystals over here onto this, just for fun. So the astronomy, I'm not entirely familiar with making astronomy labs. I've, um, I just don't have a lot of experience with it. So I'm gonna kind of stick to, to what I know, throw a couple of uh, maps, a couple of scrolls, We've got the the uh, the sundial. Um, it wouldn't hurt to have a nice little table with um, a table with with some books on it. That that would be a bad idea. stack so it looks like he's been busy. Alright, so this is gonna be that spell testing area. So I'm gonna clear the barrel of that over here maybe. Now we'll keep it there. Okay. Uh, so when you're practicing spells uh, I don't play as wizards, but I'm going to assume that you want to do some some kind of acrobatic flair. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in another one of these these mats that he can kind of do his his big testing on. Like this is gonna be his dojo. Um, oh, I'm thinking of. Um, Oh, okay. Target dummies, this is gonna be good. All right. And we want a couple of target dummies right back against the stone wall so that he doesn't you know, actually burn his house down. Oh, these are actually really big too. All right, I'm gonna just use one of these as, as a reference. Okay. Alright. So, he's got a couple of target dummies to practice spells on. What else would he need to practice his spells on? You know what? It wouldn't hurt to have a, a couple of like sources of, of his magic. So. I'm thinking like I'm thinking a nice stone pillar right in the middle. I'm gonna have to shrink it down a little bit. Maybe maybe have two of them. Alright, so we've got some stone pillars and we just need um something to, to boost his magic so that when he's practicing he's, he's not totally screwing it up so blue and blue blue for arcane makes sense to me um i will go with a nice blue thin lined this is going to be another one of those i like blue better than gold Red clashes and so it's green. So let's let's stick with the blue and this is gonna be another one of those details that no one's really gonna notice, but whoever watches this video is gonna know that it's there and that's all that matters to me. Okay. I love it man. I love it. So here we have the alchemy lab on the left, astronomy on the right, uh, a battle, uh, magic testing space. Uh, on the on the, the northern wall, it's, 
obviously not perfect it's small but this is a small space and maybe up here on the bottom wall it'll be just a nice lounge space where he uh where he kind of just comes up to hang out it's probably open probably a lot of sunlight coming through um, One thing that I absolutely forgot is the, the wall scones. All right, so we're gonna have to put a couple here, here, okay. I don't think it would take much for the, the wizard to actually light these, so actually having them, um, would be a, a good thing for him, probably likely. I know this one isn't as perfectly lined up, but all right, and back over here, I'm going to add a light effect so it looks like sunlight is coming in, so I'm not just sitting here uh, lying to myself about, um, about the, the sunlight coming through. Did. So I'm gonna just stick with the uh, with this orange glow here. I'm still not a fan of what I'm doing. So what am I trying to do? Maybe I'll just do a couple of smaller lights and. not gonna leave it like that. I know I know four is, is just too much. Alright, we'll just put that there for now. One, two, we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. Actually we might be good with just three. Just trying to I hope that this is clear that this is kind of an open, open area. Maybe I'll even add a balcony, um, just in case it's not clear. Uh, I do feel like the more I add to it, the, the shittier it's going to look. So I'm going to just do my best. I don't remember where I left those stone walls. I think they're over here. Okay. Brick walls, okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna just get rid of this 
crappy wall that I built and just kind of let the light shine through and hope that it's clear enough. So here we have it. First floor, second floor, third floor. Um, you know, there's a lot of room <laughs> for, for creativity here. You guys can really go wild with this. I'm going to post the link to it uh, to download it for free on my website. Uh, I'll post that link below. Um, you know, I, I appreciate you guys uh, liking, subscribing, watching my videos. Um, I have uh, you know an adventure up for for sale on my website. It, you can get it through DMs Guild um, and Drive Through RPG. I'd love it if you you guys took a look at it, um, played through it. Let me know what you like about it, what you guys would like to see. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video, and come back for more.